How Europe affects us in our everyday lives now in Europeans. Denmark is a world leader in wind energy, but it's not the first country that springs to mind when it comes to solar energy. Yet the tiny island of Eru in the south of the kingdom is determined to prove that harnessing the power of the sun is possible, even in this windswept region of northern Europe. And it's this thermal solar plant which is helping it prove its point. In the town of Marstel, almost all the households get their hot water and part of their heating from a solar energy plant on the outskirts of town. It's proved cheap, clean and reliable. Steen Felters installed solar-powered underfloor heating when he restored his house. To us it's, a, it's an advantage because uh, this tiny room, uh, if I had to have a central heating here uh, with fuel, I couldn't have this. And I have an extra kitchen, you could, might say. So uh, we have no smell from fuel oil. It's safe. We, have had, we haven't had one uh, interruption. So it's a little contribution to less pollution. With over 18,000 square meters of panels, Marstall's the world's largest solar thermal plant. The principle of this technology is simple. The sun warms up the large black surfaces of the panels, which in turn heats the water that's piped through them. When it reaches 70 degrees, the hot water is stored in a tank before it's pumped into the town's houses. A lot of the energy stored during the summer can be used during the winter. From May to September, the plant produces 100% of Marstall's hot water, while over the course of the year it provides a third of the town's heating. The benefits are huge. Each year, the solar thermal system saves the need to burn 9,000 litres of waste oil. If you were with the plant... Plant manager Leo Holm admits that while solar energy is still too expensive to mass produce in some countries, but claims if the political will was there, it could be done. When we can produce solar energy in Denmark, we can produce solar energy all over in Europe, so this will be no problem. So I hope more uh, people will install solar panels all over in Europe so we can get rid of all the oil and save our world for CO2 emission. Many of the solar panels used on Eru are produced in this factory in Köln, outside Copenhagen. There's much demand for these panels because the market for solar thermal energy in Europe is booming. Over two million families directly benefit from sustainable heating and cooling, and sales of solar systems are growing by almost 50% a year. For factory owner Emmanuel Benner, the advantages are clear. If you can achieve heat with uh, solar energy, you are not taking anything from nowhere. You, you use the energy from the sun today, and tomorrow when you have the shower, you deliver again the energy to the surroundings. You are not changing, you are not uh, polluting, you are not doing anything. And my question is, why not using this energy while it is there, and it is uh, feasible to use, especially in new buildings. Benner practices what he preaches. The solar panels on his roof produce 3,000 litres of hot water, ample for a family of five. With thick walls, underground heating and a wood stove, 85% of this house's heating and hot water comes from clean sources. Solar heated buildings are commonplace in coal. The solar panels on this block of flats provides enough heating for 144 families, while this campsite gets all its hot water from the sun's rays. Secretary General of the European Solar Thermal Industry Federation, Ua Trenka. The most important thing for us would be that, that uh, new buildings are equipped with solar thermal from the beginning because then it's the most economical point to, to install them and you just foresee them when you build the building and um, then these buildings will stand for 50, 100, sometimes even longer and it just does not make sense to us to, to build buildings on, still based on fossil fuels when everybody knows they are bad in terms of environment but also in terms of our dependence on oil and gas. Solar panels and storage tanks are a common sight in southern Europe. 
These days, solar domestic hot water systems are more discreet, and there will be a lot more of them on roofs in years to come. In 2006, the Spanish government passed a law requiring the installation of solar thermal panels on all new buildings. The panels on this new apartment block in Seville will provide heating and cooling for 88 flats, bringing financial and environmental benefits. Putting aside the savings made by each person on their electricity bill, which is substantial as their hot water now costs up to 80% less, these people are no longer emitting tons of CO2 into the environment. Their homes only produce about 10 to 20 percent of that of a normal family household. Roughly 90 percent of the solar thermal market in the EU is in the residential sector. This second home in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada is typical of small-scale systems found all over Europe. The 800-litre boiler produces enough water for 12 people and even runs on olive waste when the sun's not shining. The engineer who installed the system believes the two to three thousand euro investment in solar technology made by the owners is money well spent. It's an initial investment which leads to savings and also gives you the satisfaction of using non-polluting energy and being able to produce the water you use. That's important to take into consideration when looking at the overall cost. On a somewhat more grandiose scale is this solar thermal tower plant near Seville, which is the first of its kind in the world. Here, 624 automatically adjustable panels concentrate the sun's rays on a solar receiver. The receiver harnesses this energy to produce steam, which in turn feeds a turbine to make electricity. When completed, this complex will provide enough electricity to power most of the homes in Seville. This will prevent the emission of 600,000 tons of carbon dioxide a year, helping Spain and the EU meet their greenhouse gas reduction targets. The solar industry, which employs over 20,000 people in Europe, is also a precious source of jobs in southern Spain. We know that renewable energy in general, and solar energy in particular, generate many jobs, and obviously the creation of jobs by renewable energy is far superior to those in the conventional energy sector. The argument against solar thermal energy is usually cost, but as the technology becomes more common, the price is going down, and while converting an old house would not necessarily be cost-effective, installing solar power in a new home can be worthwhile, both in terms of money and the environment.